Hey guys, my name is Chinea, and I'm the owner of EcoHugDog.com, and I'm joined today by my dog Charlie, who is nine years old, and we are here to talk about senior dog health, and he is considered a senior dog, and we've definitely faced a lot of the problems um, that come when the pet ages. And we will talk you guys through some of the products that we use for Charlie. Um, they're all natural, they're all eco-friendly, um, and hopefully we'll give you guys some ideas on what to do with your aging pet dog. So the one thing that we definitely want to focus on is their periodontal health. And as dogs get older and older, their teeth start to get worse and worse. And especially if you've never brushed their teeth um, and you're afraid to, this is a really good time to start. So the first tip I would say is picking out a natural gel or a toothpaste. Right now we're using Tropiclean Fresh Teeth Gel. It is an all natural gel. It spreads very easily on those teeth. So it's a really good gel to start with, especially if you've never ever tried a toothpaste before. And so the first thing I would do is I would put it, if you've never, if you've never brushed your dog's teeth before, I would put it on your finger and have your dog lick it, sniff it for about a week. Each and every night, put it on your finger, have them sniff it, have them lick it, have them get used to the consistency, the smell. The second step is to get either your finger toothbrush in, in their mouth, or you can just use your finger, whatever you prefer. If you would like um, not to get your finger dirty, we do sell those little finger toothbrushes. And you put on the finger toothbrush and you swirl it in their mouth. Again, take time. Let them really, really get used to even having anything in their mouth or people reaching into their mouth. This could take, you know, a couple weeks. It could take a couple months. Just be very patient with them and let them really get used to it. The third step is getting a toothbrush. Make sure you choose a very soft toothbrush and make sure that their toothbrush fits their mouth. So here we sell the Wu Bamboo, which are bamboo eco-friendly toothbrushes. They're antimicrobial and they come in two different sizes. But if you are not ready for a bamboo toothbrush, um, you can always go to a supermarket and pick out a brush there. One, make sure it's extra soft. Uh, senior pets tend to have ble uh, bleeding gums that are softer and um, they really need gentle toothbrushes. So if your dog is small like Charlie, you might want to go to the kids section and pick out an extra soft baby toothbrush. Or if you have a bigger dog, go to adult section and they also have um, toothbrushes there that are really, really soft. And that's a good place to start is with a really, really soft toothbrush. And whenever your dog doesn't feel comfortable, always backtrack, always go to the step two. And again, start with them really getting used to your finger in their mouth or even the gel. Um, another thing I would definitely recommend is the um, CoQ10 enzyme, which is an enzyme that is naturally produced by your body. But as your body's age, this starts to get produced less and less. So it's really important to supplement with uh, Q10, CoQ10, and it's also really good for periodontal health as well as the overall um, cardiovascular and immune system health. So this is a great supplement if your dog is suffering from bleeding gums, um, soft gums, um, and just gum disease overall. And the next step we'll talk about is joint health. So one thing I definitely noticed as Charlie um, got older and older was that, you know, he couldn't keep up with his sisters on their walks. And he was always trailing behind. He couldn't run as fast. He couldn't jump on the couch. He couldn't jump off the couch. We had to get a little pet stairs. And his joint health has really definitely suffered. And so these supplements by Dr. Harvey are great supplements. There's many others out there. We love this brand. So um, whatever, whichever brand you choose, just make sure you look at the ingredients and make sure you understand all of them. They're all natural and good for your dog. But this one right here is an Orthro Flex, which is a joint health supplement, which is, um, and then we also have a Golden Year supplement, which is specifically made for older dogs. They're very similar in their top active ingredients, which is spirulina, lecithin, and nutritional yeast. The difference is the golden year really focuses on 
older dogs and their overall health versus the Orthoflex is really a joint supplement. So whichever one you choose will be awesome for your dog and will relieve that pain. And they actually come in powders that if you're feeding your dog a homemade diet or a wet diet, you can just mix it in there. If your dog is eating kibble, you can always dissolve it with a little bit of stock or water and put it in their kibble. Again, another thing that I definitely recommend is salmon oil. Salmon oil is a great thing for all dogs of all ages, and omega-3 fatty acids are unfortunately not made by our or dog's body, so it's really important to supplement with omega-3s, which is plentiful in salmon oil, but it especially becomes important as dogs age. Keeps their um, skin and coat healthy, their cardiovascular health, um, heart and skin, just really great supplement overall. It comes with these little pumps, so you can directly put it on their kibble, you can mix it in with a spoon if you'd like into their wet food, whatever you prefer comes in two different sizes. Um, make sure you keep it in the fridge once you've opened it. And the last thing we'll talk about is crusty noses and broken paws. As your dogs age and become older and older, their noses become more crustier, their paws become more susceptible to cracks, and especially as they're running on the pavement, you want to make sure you um, keep that healthy. There's two different brands that we carry. Um, one is Dr. Harvey's. This cream is based off of shea butter. That's the main ingredient is shea butter, and it's um, has a white uh, color and it smells very herby. So again, you can put it on their nose, their paws, or if they have a skin irritation, just make sure that even though this is non-toxic, that they don't lick it, um, have it absorbed into the skin. And the other one is Farm Dog Naturals. And this one is based off of different types of oils like apricot oil and or, um, kernel oil. And so this one has a little bit of a different color. It's a little bit green and it smells a little bit more um, uh, roasty, like toasted sesame seeds almost. So whichever one you choose is great. Just make sure you put it on their nosies, you put it on their paws, or whatever skin irritation they might have, and make sure they don't look it. And this will cover our series for our senior dogs. I hope that you guys found this helpful. We hope you guys enjoyed this series. Make sure you guys follow our YouTube account. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you find us on Facebook. We are Eco Hug Dog or follow us on Instagram at Eco Hug Dog and visit our website EcoHugDog.com and look forward to more videos that we will be making with uh, Charlie and his two little sisters.